$3,000? Just got back from Yellowstone and it was amazing. While I was at Yellowstone, guess what came in? The MCAT score. Happy day! Got a great score. Woohoo! Biggest thing right now is did not taking or going through a test prep company help or hinder me? Verdict is, it did not hurt at all. I don't think that I would have gained anything else from a test prep company that I couldn't have gained either studying on my own, studying with a buddy, my cousin, taking like practice MCAT tests that are thousands of dollars cheaper than buying a full course. I was just at my school's advisement center and they had a little packet from Altius. I don't know, I'm not against Altius or anything like that. They have some great practice tests that I use personally. They're full blown tutoring packet was three thousand dollars I'm happy save three thousand dollars didn't have to take a practice course or anything like anything like that like I said before it's up to you how you want to study take what you how you study and just use that to your advantage now that I got my MCAT score back I can confidently tell you how I prepared and what prepared me to take the MCAT I got the score back and it worked three different things that I think are the best ways to prepare for the MCAT, and it's what I did. First thing that I did was I found a study buddy, someone that will help you keep accountable, keep you on track, help you be able to you know, bounce ideas, bounce off information with, be able to learn it, teach it to them. Essentially, that's what you pay for when you, uh, you're paying for a tutor or study buddy or a study group. Find one on your own and study with them, save you tons of money, and it's probably just as effective. So that was my first advice. Second, I would take as many practice MCAT tests as you possibly can. They're gonna cost you a couple hundred bucks, but they're totally worth it. Altius has some, Kaplan, uh, Princeton Review has some, I don't, I didn't take those ones. The AAMC has some, make sure you buy those, those ones are very helpful. They have other resources too, you can look into those if you want. So that's what I would recommend. I took about 10 practice tests from about three different companies. Yeah, that was by far the most helpful thing. Helps with timing, helps with what kind of questions they ask. So the MCAT doesn't test on previous knowledge. You obviously need to have previous knowledge previous scientific background to understand words, understand definitions. But what they test, and they even say this on the website, they test is your ability to take information, take that information and apply it to a problem. So they're gonna give you some information in a passage or a graph or chart, and then you're gonna, they're gonna expect you to take that information and apply it to the question they give you. My, this comes to my third advice point. And luckily for me, I had a cell biology professor and he really helped prepare us for the MCAT actually. Every week he would assign us a scientific study article, a journal paper, research, something that has been published. It could be you know, relatively old, but it's a, on a topic, well it was on a topic about cell biology, it always was applicable to the MCAT too. Every week we would go through these papers, we would go through line by line, chart by chart, and as a group, we had small groups, and as a class, we would go through every paper and just talk about it. What are they saying? What are they trying to tell us? What are they researching? What are they conveying to us? And that was extremely helpful in being able to just glean information from passages, glean information from charts. If I could find them, I'll link them in the description below, just some of the things that we had to go through in my class. Something that I would recommend, going on to Khan Academy, free resource, they have all sorts of videos about everything you need to know about the MCAT. I would go on there, find a subject on the MCAT, then go to a scientific journal, find a current article on that subject, and read through that article. You get a simple definition from Khan Academy, but you also get the practice reasoning through information, reasoning through graphs, when you go through a scientific journal, a scientific paper. Those are my three things that were the most helpful crushing the MCAT. You know, obviously it's up to your learning strategy. How do you learn best? Take that into account and make sure that you study in the way that is good for you. So that study worked for me and it worked out on the MCAT. Luckily, I'm so grateful I don't have to take that again. I, don't know, I believe if you just keep practicing how to glean information from scientific studies, that is me super helpful in taking the MCAT. Good luck guys on that MCAT. You can crush it, I know you can. Just gotta practice, study, go through those articles, read some articles, read some graphs, and you'll be able to make it.